Hi, Principal. I wanted to talk to you about the school board's recent decision to take art and music classes out of our school's curriculum. Yes, we need to cut from the budget. But the arts are important. They are just as important as any other subject at this school. The arts are fun and inspiring, but when we need to make cuts, we need to give the most attention to the important subjects like math and science. Math and science are important, but the arts encourage creativity, individuality, self-confidence, and expression. These are very important qualities to have. They may be important, but our job as a school is to teach students math, science, literature and history so that they can pass the regents and do well on their SAT. The arts won't help with their SAT. Actually, studies have shown that students that took art classes scored consistently better on the SAT than students that did not take arts classes. Students who took a music history or music appreciation class scored an average 63 points higher on the verbal section and 41 points higher on the math section of the SAT. Students in drama, art appreciation and studio classes also scored significantly higher. Well, that does not mean the arts are responsible for the higher SAT scores. Those students could just be smarter and also like the arts. True, we don't know the cause and effect. However, I read on the internet that students working in the arts for at least three hours, three days a week for a full year are four times more likely to be recognized for an academic achievement, to win an award for attendance, to participate in a math or science fair or win an award for writing an essay or poem. It sounds like the arts may be responsible for these great students. Don't you think? Why do you know so many statistics and studies? You are embarrassing me. I care about the arts and have learned how to advocate for them because I want to see them continually taught at this school regardless of budget cuts. Well, regardless of your argument, we still need to make cuts, and the arts are first on the list to get cut. What about sports? We receive a lot of money from alumni and various donors for our sports teams. We have a very skilled football team and they represent school spirit. Yes, that is important, but what about the other sports we offer like basketball, soccer, volleyball? All still important. Tennis, track, baseball, lacrosse. They are very popular with the students. Field hockey, racquetball, ping pong. Well. Fishing, swimming, water polo, bowling. Yes, you can stop now. Perhaps we could cut some of the sports we offer. I don't think fishing helps with SAT scores. You don't know that it doesn't. Maybe we can take out bowling. I'm just saying, taking out some sports would at least keep some arts and music classes in the school. I think it would be a wise decision. I suppose so. But sports provide students with valuable skills needed for life like agility teamwork, and hand-eye coordination. This is true. But an article written for the Boston Globe argues that valuable skills are learned from taking art classes in schools. Such skills include visual spatial abilities, reflection, self-criticism, and the willingness to experiment and learn from mistakes. Students also learn persistence, expression, how to use emotion, and their personal voice. Fine. The arts are important. I will talk to some superintendents about keeping some arts and music classes. I was originally going to go home and watch my favorite show, Survivor. I've been watching it for 10 years. That show is made possible by many directors, producers, artists and designers. Okay, I get it now. Goodbye, student. I like your schnazzy suit by the way. You should have gone into fashion. Thank you. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye.